honeybees. Today is Mary Kay Monday and I am fresh faced right now because we are going to do a full tutorial get ready with me today using all Mary Kay products and it's going to be my everyday makeup routine so hopefully it won't be too long. It should be pretty quick and I'm going to go through each product. So right now I've already prepped my skin. By the way, everything will be linked down below. So each and every single product will be linked down below. If you don't already have a Mary Kay representative, I would love to be yours. And if you would like to purchase product, it, everything will be down below. All right, so first of all, I used our 3D Time My Skincare this morning. I used the 4-in-1 cleanser in my bathroom. And then I prepped my skin with the um, day cream which has SPF 30 so that is already on my skin right now and then I also did use our eye cream which helps to depuff and brighten the under eye because I did not get enough sleep last night that's for sure and that really helps me so I'm also going to prep my lips I like to do this in the morning um, before I start my whole routine so I have our satin lips set looks like this so I'm use our scrub first it's a sugar scrub sugar shea scrub so this actually um, is made with ingredients that you're able to lick off, like edible grade ingredients, and it feels so good on your lips. Scrub all that dead skin off your lips, and it tastes like fruity pebbles. And the reason this is so super important is because if you lay moisture on top of dry lips, it's not going to allow it to sink down into your lips. It's going to lay right on top of that dry skin. We don't want that. So now I'm using our Shea Butter Balm. And this just locks in that hydration for up to 10 hours. It's alcohol free. And the reason I mention that is because most lip balms do contain alcohol. And when that evaporates off your lips, it takes the moisture with it. So then you feel like you need to reapply, reapply, reapply. Um, this one is not like that. And I don't know if you can tell, but it gives like a slight glossiness, but I like to have that on as I'm um, doing the rest of my makeup routine. Let's go ahead and get started into the face makeup. So I have our foundation primer. This does contain SPF 15, but we do have it without SPF if you are sensitive. Um, it's UVA, UVB rays. It protects against. So I compare our foundation primer, the consistency, to as if the Benefit Professional and the Smashbox primer had a baby. That's what it kind of feels like to me. It's not as thick as the professional. Um, it's not as silicone feeling as the Smashbox, but it does really mattify, um, smooth everything out, and it also fills in fine lines and pores. You can already see probably the difference in the shine reduction in my skin after that. My brows were microbladed recently, so I'm not going to be touching them and trying to kind of avoid um, touching them at all. So if that seems weird, that's why. Okay, next up is, since this is going to be like an everyday makeup routine, I'm going to first apply our CC cream, which you guys know I talk about this so much here on my channel. It's one of my top five favorites of the line. It's so amazing. And the reason it is, first of all, it has a pump, which I really love, and I should probably clean that. It's a little messy. There we go. <laughs> has a pump, which I really appreciate. Um, CC cream is a color correcting cream, so it's going to give you a little bit of coverage, correct any redness or discoloration you have in your skin, has a few anti-aging properties, as well as having an SPF of 15. So all around, you're getting a little bit of everything. And the other reason I love this is it self-adjusts to your skin. So we do have five shades, but it naturally um, self-adjusts to your pH in your skin, and that may seem like, yeah, right, Melissa, that is not going to self-adjust to my skin. Well, just you wait to see this magic. So I'm going to do about a pump and a half. And this is very, it is light coverage. You can build it up a little bit, but it's definitely more of a light coverage. So I'm going to use um, our, the Mary Kay, what's this called? A liquid foundation brush. It kind of has like a slant to it. Our brushes are synthetic bristles, so it allows you to um, get more coverage because the foundation does not sink in to the bristles. And it also is a little bit more sanitary and easy to clean. And you're not going to get those little, those little hairs coming out of your brush, which I can't stand. I don't know about you guys. 
So see, you can already see a difference in my skin on this side. It's already self-adjusting. And it just makes your skin look super flawless without having to try, you know? Like it just gives you that, that natural look because it just becomes your skin, which I love, especially on days when you're just running out of the house. You don't need a lot of makeup. You just want a little touch up. This is what I use. I actually use this every day. And I'm gonna show you how I build coverage with a different foundation of ours. Okay, so this is with the CC cream only and the primer. So now I'm going to um, demonstrate this one for you guys. It's our Endless Performance Cream to Powder Foundation. This is how it comes. If you want it in a compact, you can get that separately, which I know initially is kind of annoying, but over time it is actually better uh, for the environment. And so you're not throwing away a compact every time. You can just replace the pan. Um, so I'm in the shade Ivory 1. This is what it looks like, as you can see. I use it. I definitely use it. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to use that same brush. I don't care that it has product on it because it's just me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and touch this into the pan. Just get a little bit of product. And I usually need a little more coverage right here on my cheeks and on my nose, like down the center of my face. So I'm just going to kind of dot it and blend it. See, you can already see that coverage. I hope you can from me just dotting it. The only thing I don't love about this foundation is this, there is a slight scent to it initially before you um, apply it. Um, it's not a bad scent, um, but I just want to mention that just in case people are sensitive to scent. But I don't care because of the coverage and how this is like a good long wear one for the summer, you guys. And you can carry this around in your purse if you need to touch up, but I never have. Um, and it's like, it sets to a powder finish, but it's not like a powder finish where you feel like you have zero glow and you look overly matte, if that makes sense. So there is like my foundation coverage. All right, next I'm gonna use our under eye corrector. This is amazing, I love it so much. So it's a salmon-y pinkish tone so it cancels out discoloration under the eyes and it has a doe foot applicator so sometimes if I'm having a really good under eye day I can just use this because it does have some good coverage I have a feeling today though I'm going to use a little bit more than this so I just place that under my eyes in a V to bring that light because it does brighten as well as cancel out discoloration so I'm going to be real with you guys, I, I like using a beauty blender for our blending out our under eye products rather than our cream brush that we have for this step as well. Um, if you want to go with all Mary Kay products or if you're a Mary Kay representative, then I would understand you using that brush. It's awesome too. I use it on clients all the time, but I just personally prefer the beauty blender when I work with my under eye. So wow. <laughs> Look at that coverage for the under eye and how much that has canceled out any darkness I had under there, any discoloration. It's, it's awesome. So I think I'm just going to use the tiniest bit of concealer. I really don't think I need a ton today. I'm surprised. Um, our concealer does come in a bunch of shades. Alright, so I'm going to use light ivory and I'm just going to dot this. Now, this is pretty fair because I do go about a shade or two lighter than my natural skin tone. Um, so if I was going to go my like closer to my natural skin tone, I'd probably go light beige. But I went light ivory because I like it to be a little bit brighter. Alright, so I just dotted it like I have little concealer tears. And this is very high coverage, so you don't need very much. Um, it's not super thick, but it has good coverage. So it's not going to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Oh man, yeah, I thought I didn't need concealer, but after applying that, I like it like way better. Product. I'm actually going to take the concealer a little bit down my nose because that tends to be where um, foundation just doesn't like to stay on my nose. And I do want to kind of highlight that bridge of my nose. So I did take that same lighter concealer down my nose and just blending that out. 
may look crazy now, but don't worry. Once I have powder on and everything, it'll look good. So that is it for liquid products on my face. So I'm gonna now take our translucent powder. Oh, I love this translucent powder, it's so good. Okay, this translucent powder, I'm gonna give you like an idea of how it is. Again, it's like Makeup Forever's translucent powder and Laura Mercier's translucent powder had a baby because it has that pretty glow and softness that the Laura Mercier gives, but it has that Makeup Forever perfect, a little bit mattifying, just flawless complexion that the Makeup Forever gives. So it's like, for real, it's like the perfect mix. Um, and I'm gonna use our, my favorite, I was gonna say our favorite, but really it's my favorite brush from our collection. And this is the all over powder and it's super fluffy and it's so soft and I love it so much. So I'm just gonna take the little bit that's remaining in the lid here, swirl it on my brush, tap it a couple times because you really don't need a lot. And I'm going to kind of press that into my skin all over where I apply foundation. Now I did take it down my neck so I do even go on my neck. I'm gonna take a little more and set that under eye. I actually put a lot more under the eye because we don't want that to move at all. And see how that did kind of mattify a little bit, but it gives a really pretty finish. It's not um, overly mattified, I don't think. It's just really nice. So I'm gonna be using our bronzer, and it's right here. So our bronzer is not completely matte, however, it doesn't have any glitters in it. But it does give a really pretty glow to the skin, um, and that's why I really like it. So I'm gonna be using this brush here, and it may seem like a different kind of brush. It's called the Cheek Brush. As you can see, it has like this fluffier, bigger side right here. Then it has like a flatter edge here and a flatter edge here. So I'm going to use the back side of this brush. It's, it's a multi-purpose brush, by the way. I'm going to use the back side to kind of just carve out that cheekbone area a little bit. And this bronzer is very pigmented and buildable. So it is really meant for light to medium complexions, in my opinion, even though we only have one bronzer. If you are darker complexed, I would definitely use our pressed powders in these deeper shades for your contouring. And then you for sure can still use this bronzer for a glow on the top, but if you're really trying to get that carved out look and you have a deeper complexion, I'm gonna be real with you guys, this bronzer is not gonna be your jam. Like, it will do a decent job, but I would use the powder, the powder foundation first and then this. Um, Cause it's super pretty, but Like, see, that's really pretty. It gives like a really nice glow. And as you see, I'm working in an upward motion again. Always upward motions. You don't want to help gravity at all. Don't want to assist gravity in getting, making you look older. And work that up into the hairline. So it may seem like this is a little low, but I carved mine out with some powder later, don't worry. So I'm actually gonna take the fluffier side now, tap my brush off, and I'm gonna go into my hairline a bit. Balance this bronzer out a bit all over the face. I'm gonna take a little bit under my chin area, right in my contours making sure to blend down so it looks natural and not like a harsh line. Super important. All right, now I'm going to take our Shy Blush, which is my favorite, I love it so much. Um, it's this one right here. As you can see, we do have many other blushes. I'm gonna use this right here. And it has like a really nice golden glow and it's a very natural pink tone. Um, so yeah, I just really love it. And I'm actually going to use an It Cosmetics brush for this. Um, it's a slanted one. I just prefer it. I like a real fluffy blush brush. So I'm gonna go in with this. Again, super pigmented, tap off your blush. Your brush, excuse me. And I'm just going right on top of where that contour was, or I say contour loosely because I didn't really contour that much since this is an everyday look. See how that gives a really nice flush to the face and a little bit of a glow? Remember, this is an everyday look, so it's not gonna be super intense when it comes to highlight and 
and eyeshadow today, but I did want to be able to show you a little bit of everything. Okay, now I'm gonna take my beauty blender. This is a dry beauty blender. And I'm going to take my powder foundation from Mary Kay. This doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it has more coverage than the translucent powder, which the translucent powder has none. It's see-through. Um, so I use this to set my makeup if I want a little more coverage. If I need to touch up during the day, I like this powder. Um, but today I'm going to use it to carve out under my contour. Um, so I'm going to use, I think this is Ivory 2. And then I just put that right underneath my contour. So yes, this is kind of like a baking technique. It is. Because I'm not wiping it away just yet. Alright, you see that? How it kind of carved it out? And then I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there until I'm done with my eye makeup. Okay, I'm going to do a little highlight. And I'm going to use this Pro Contour number 79 brush from Sephora. Best highlight brush in history. Sorry, Mary Kay, nothing can top this brush. <laughs> so far, we never know. So I'm going to use one of our highlights right here. This is one of our blush and highlight duos. I'll link it below. Um, it's really pretty. And I'm going to apply some. And then, later on, when I set my face with setting powder, I'm going to apply a little more of this highlight on top. And that setting um, spray will kind of enhance it as well. So, this is pretty natural, but you will be able to see that glow pop through. It's like you're naturally glowing from within kind of highlight. Oh yeah, you can for sure see that on camera. It's so pretty. And I'm a little heavy handed with my highlight. You guys know I like a BAM highlight. So for now, our face is done. I'll come back to it in a little bit after the eyes. So next I'm going to be doozing, um, doozing? <laughs> using a cream eyeshadow. And I love these. These are so awesome. So you can use these all over the lid as just your all over color and run out the door. Or you can use them as a base for your eyeshadow and that's what I'm going to be doing today. And this is in Beach Blonde, but we do have many other shades. And here's what it looks like. Just a really pretty like neutral champagne shade. So these are really creamy. They blend easy. You don't have to tug on your eye at all. So I'm using that all over my lids. So we do have a regular eye primer as well that is completely translucent if you don't want to have a base like this to prime your eyes. I zoomed you guys in a little further just so you can see the eyeshadow work a little bit closer. So our eyeshadow pans also just come individually. Mine are kind of all over the place in a Z palette right now. But here are what they look like. So I'm going for a very natural, neutral look today. So I'm going to be using um, the shadow. It's a little more golden. It's called Honey Spice. It's a very beautiful lid, lid shade. So I'm actually just going to apply this with my fingertips. And I probably will end up touching this up after I do my crease. Honestly, I'm kind of going out of order. Usually I do my lid shade last, but I just want to show you how pretty this is on top of the... Oh, sorry, I'm using my middle finger. <laughs> Not intentional. Um, I just want to show you guys how pretty th this is. The shadow is layered with Beach Blonde. See how much that pops? It's so pretty. So if you didn't want to do a crease color, you just want to do your mascara right at this point, you could. All right, I am now going to use just a fluffy crease brush. Um, this is the 306 Tapered Blender. I think this is from Bedellum Tools. I use so many brushes every day, it doesn't even matter to me. <laughs> as long as they blend well. So this shade I'm going to use in my crease, and it's called Hazelnut. And it's just a really nice matte, a little bit cooler toned, but it kind of, I feel like it kind of, um, becomes whatever I want it to. So I'm using this just in my outer V, kind of working it down into the lash area here, and then up into the curve and crease of my eye. And just continuously blending this. I do think that our shadows blend really nicely. A lot of people say, like, why do you say we and our shadows? Like, we say this. 
because, um, don't you say that at work? Like, I don't know. Even when I'm at a dental office, I say we an hour um, when I'm talking about business-related things. So, that's why. And literally, Mary Kay has become my another little family in my life. And, yeah, I love it. Wow. That gave some good dimension. I always believe in having a crease color, even if you are doing a natural, everyday look. That little bit of color in your crease will really make your eyes pop. You don't have to go too smoky and too crazy. I'm adding just another little layer here too, just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Sometimes on camera it gets a little washed out, so. Take our Mary Kay all over eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take crystalline and pop that in my inner corner because I really like my inner corner highlight to pop a lot more no matter if it's a natural day or not look at that see that difference hopefully you guys do I'm not gonna do any lower um, mascara or eyeshadow underneath my eyes because this is a natural makeup day or an everyday makeup day, I should say. So that's it for the eyes today. But if you guys want me to do like a more dramatic Mary Kay eye look maybe for the fall, let me know and I can for sure do that. Okay, we're going to use the Mary Kay Liquid Eyeliner Pen now. Um, totally love this. I really wish that it was a brush tip. It's a felt tip, but it is really nice and black and easy to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a thinner line on my upper lash line. Okay, at this point, this is when I would kind of blend out my contour line here. So I got my all over fluffy powder brush that I love. And I'm taking that and going all the way over everything. Do you see that? You see how that softens everything and makes it look like your skin? That you're just blushing and glowing? That's what I want. I don't like harsh contour, harsh lines. Especially on an everyday look. I want seamless. I want to look like my skin and my face is just perfect. <laughs> you get me? I think you do. Yeah, I'm going to use um, the Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. It is by Scandinavia and it is such a fine mist. I love it. The reason I do this before mascara is because sometimes setting sprays can ruin your mascara and I don't want that. So hold it a distance away from your face. I like a lot of setting spray. <laughs> and then I am going to go back in with that highlight and intensify a little bit while my skin's a little damp. It really works. See that? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to use, I love this mascara, it's so good, the, our Lash Intensity Mascara. So this one has, a, maybe it's a little intimidating, the brush, because it's a little bit larger, but it's flat too, so you can kind of wiggle and get that good drama, big, full lash. So one side of the brush has smaller bristles than the other. I go in with the smaller bristles first. There's no right or wrong way with that. So this gives like beautiful, dramatic lashes. and they kind of look fluffy. You know like sometimes when you use a volume mascara, um, it'll just look kind of spidery when you layer it. This mascara does not, which I very much appreciate. I'm not gonna do too much more on the mascara. I could probably do another, another layer just because I like really, really full, but I wanna give you the real effect. This curl is kind of annoying me. There we go. Much better. All right, guys, so now we're gonna do the lips and then we're done. I hope you've been enjoying this today. Okay, so our lip liners do have a little sharpener at the top, but they are retractable. Oops, I just touched that. Let's wipe that. They are retractable. So I'm using our medium nude lip liner today. And my lips are still really nice and hydrated, so I'm just gonna kind of rub that in so it doesn't mess with anything.
Okay, there's just lip liner. I'm always a big fan of lip liner because it really defines your lips. It makes it pop, even if you're doing an everyday look. By the way, our lip liners are really nice and pigmented, creamy, last really well. I'm kind of a, a little finicky when it comes to my lip liners, so I do approve. All right, and then I'm gonna use our Rosewood. This is a semi-matte lipstick. It's my most worn Mary Kay lipstick. It's really pretty on its own, but I'm actually feeling a little gloss today, so I'm going to use Fancy Nancy. This gloss is so beautiful. It has like a gold reflex. It's not glittery chunky, though, on your lips at all, and it really goes well with so many different lipsticks. Um, it actually is really pretty on its own, too. Look at that. So pretty. It makes this an entirely different lip. That is the finished look. Very natural, easy, everyday look. Um, again, I'll have everything linked down below, but if you have questions for me, feel free to leave them down below as well. So before I go, I want to mention something really exciting. So for those of you who stick through the whole tutorial, you get this exciting news. I am going to be doing my very first Instagram Live, and it's going to be a live Mary Kay party essentially. So if you would like to take part in this party and you want to be able to try the skincare, see how a party goes with me and you're not in Arizona and you can't take part in person, I will send you out the samples ahead of time and then you'll be able to participate. So, so let's say August the 6th, which is a Monday, at 6.30 p.m. will be my Instagram Live, and that's 6.30 p.m. Arizona Mountain Time, which I believe correlates with Central Standard Time right now. I'll make sure of that, and I'll mention it a few times prior, too. Um, I'll only be able to send out the samples this week, though, so if you contact me between today, the 16th, all the way to the 21st, um, and you say down below that you would like a sample sent to you, please either direct message me on Instagram, email me, or message down below and I'll um, just message you privately to get your address so I can send you the samples. But don't worry, if you're watching this after the 21st and you still want to be part of the live, you can. Um, I'll just have to send you samples at a different time or you can just watch to get an idea of how a Mary Kay party goes. Um, and and just maybe get some knowledge about our skincare and you'll be able to interact with me which is so much fun. You'll get to ask questions as I go along and Mama Bee will also be a guest star during that live because um, she's actually going to be applying the skincare with you as we go through the whole process and I think it'll be so much fun to get to interact with you guys and then if you end up really liking the lives I'll continue to do them. Um, I think that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video Wednesday. See you Wednesday. Bye for now.